The harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. Why did he use that word? God goes to extreme measures to bring the loss to himself. The greatest gift you will ever give this world is your intimacy with God. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit are all three inside of me. I've got the power right now. I think what Jesus really wants is people to go. I want to be the answer to Jesus' prayer request. Welcome to the Fuel for the Harvest podcast. When this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world, then shall the end come. Hey, and welcome to this latest episode of Fuel for the Harvest. This is Nathan. And this is Charlie. And we're so excited to share more stories of what God is doing around the world. Through Forge, we have Forge ambassadors who are working in various just crazy places to see more kingdom laborers raised up. And uh, today we just wanted to share a couple updates from an undisclosed location in Central Asia where it is highly Muslim, 99% Muslim location, very dangerous, very difficult. Uh, Terrorism happens there, uh, persecution happens there. Um, It's another difficult place, yet God's kingdom is advancing. And we have been working with some nationals who are living there, some Forge ambassadors, and we uh, are working to try and reach some of the least reached peoples. They're all basically unreached, but there's even less reached peoples uh, in, in this area. And recently, one of these unreached people groups had a flood happen in their hometown. And one of our Forge ambassadors reached out to us and said, hey, you know, th- this flood happened and I have, a, I have a heart to take medical supplies to these people to see if we can, you know, be d- like, help them in any way. And the cool part about that is (laughs) the message of Jesus is coming to these people, not just in word, but also in deed, in in what this guy is doing. So um, we were able to send him some funds. He purchased some medical supplies and he took them to this people group as like a I think he said it was like a 15-hour journey for him, uh, and he faced all kinds of crazy things along the way, cops on the road and... Uh, Military. <laughs> I, literally, he was on a bus that got stopped and had two terrorists on his bus. And he was like, I wonder if we can we can find a way to do this, but it is a, it is a crazy area of risk. Yeah, and so he um, goes and he does this medical clinic and I think he said 60 women and 60 men or something like that were able to be treated by this medical clinic, like praise the Lord. And, uh, all the while he's working with this local doctor and this local doctor is, has become kind of a person of peace. And if you listen to our last episode, you know what those people of peace are, people who are open to the message, who are open to the messengers. Now this is, just mind you, this is a 100% Muslim people group unengaged. Now that means not only are they unreached, not only are they a frontier people group that's 0% Christianity, but nobody is targeting them. Nobody has a vision for them. No missionary has showed up there. Right. And so our... Our, our Forge ambassador was working with this doctor, and he mentioned that he would like at some point to talk about story uh, stories from from the Word of God. And he asked this local man, "Hey, would you this local doctor? Hey, would you be interested in hearing some of these stories?" And the local man said, "Yes, that's insane. Like that kind of stuff doesn't happen every day." And uh, so we really believe that the Lord is opening this man's heart uh, to hear the, the gospel. So if you if you would join us in praying um, that the Lord would even send this local doctor dreams, you can maybe just call him the local doctor. <laughs> um, the Lord will know who you're talking about. Um, that you, he would send him dreams, even that he would put a hunger in his heart to hear more of the word of God, even that he would put a hunger in his heart to, to, for Jesus as the Messiah, not just as Jesus the prophet. Yeah, pray that our contact will be able to get back there, that he'll be able to proclaim effectively, that the Spirit of God would empower him. Uh, This this doctor's ready. He he is ready to take the next step to at least learn and discover what the Word of God says. He knows that this Forge ambassador is a follower of Jesus. He said, hey, I'm a follower of Jesus. Could we talk about it? And he's open. That's, I mean... We couldn't emphasize more how incredible that is, this door that's opening for a former, like a completely unengaged people group that is now being engaged. Um, 
That's not the only thing happening in this particular nation. Uh, in other regions of this nation, there's another Forge ambassador who's working there. And this particular person has seen incredible, incredible kingdom movement happen. Uh, through some Forge resources and training uh, and equipping and and through the Spirit of God empowering this Forge ambassador, they you've heard parts of the stories on other podcasts and writings and, and articles we put out. Um she has said, hey, I want to be serious about sharing Jesus with others. And in one week led 40 people to Christ. And then said, okay, now let me help you guys. And those 40 then went and led others to Christ. So that would be two spiritual generations. Then those third, that third group from the 40, they went and led more people to Christ. So three generations. Anyway, as of this week, since April 29th to this week uh, and and." We have seen 602 born-again new believers. You heard me right. 600 new believers in a span of just months. And uh, those 600 believers are now spanning 11 spiritual generations and meeting together in 11 local house churches. It is incredible. It's, it, it reminds me of 2 Timothy 2, 2, where Paul says, What you've heard me say, entrust to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. You see four spiritual generations there, Paul to Timothy to faithful men to others. And we just, we long to see this kind of spiritual multiplication, uh, a disciple-making movement of those who say, I'm serious about obeying Jesus and getting out into the harvest as a laborer to advance his kingdom. That's what it's really about. Yeah, and if you're excited hearing some of these stories, I just want to encourage, well, we just want to encourage you that these are not just stories of people happening on the other side of the world. Like this concept, the Second Timothy 2.2 2 concept was employed by, uh, has been employed by so many Christians in so many different countries, including the United States. And they've seen generation, spiritual generation after spiritual generation emerge just because they chose to be faithful with just a few. So if you, if your heart is excited by what God's doing on the other side of the world, take note that he can do the exact same thing through you and he wants to do the exact same thing through you it ultimately it just comes down to finding somebody uh maybe they're a cultural christian maybe they don't know jesus at all uh meeting with them exposing them to the message of jesus and then empowering them to go and share the gospel with others it's incredible what can happen when we simply say yes yes to jesus and step out uh, in that same passage in Second Timothy, uh, he says, "Be a good soldier of Christ Jesus." And no soldier gets entangled in civilian affairs, but his one aim is to please his commanding officer. If our one aim is to please Jesus, we will obey him. We'll say, "Yes, sir." Man, imagine what could happen—the kind of movement that could happen, the joy that comes from that adventure with Jesus. And we're getting to see this firsthand these testimonies worldwide of God at work of those who've said yes to him. We want to please him. Uh, man, it, it's just incredible. And for those of you listening, we're broadcasting to downloads from 33 nations right now. So who knows? We encourage you be all in for Jesus. Give everything to Jesus and his mission. Open up the word of God, get into the book of Mark to start, and then the book of Acts to see who was Jesus and what did his followers do, and then say, Lord, I want to do the same thing in my life and just start putting it into action and, and see what happens. Um, man, if, if you've been encouraged by these stories, we would ask, would you would you give us a rating on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, and would you share this on your social media with others who you think might be interested as well. Well, thank you guys uh, for listening to this episode of Fuel for the Harvest. God is moving in the harvest, so let's all get after it, get into the harvest. God bless you guys and see you next time.